Hi again, everybody. Uh, today we'll be dealing with the power mirrors, the defrosters for the power mirrors, and how they work. So let's go right to the to the schematic. As you can see, <clears throat> we have the fuse hot and on. That means only in the run position you will have this accessory. In, not in start, not in accessories, only in the on position, like the run position. Current will flow here. All this is in a fuse panel coming down here to the to the black and yellow wire. <clears throat> and then the switch is closed. You activated the switch for the power mirrors for the defrosters. So that means there's an LED somewhere in the circuit to light, to tell you that. Here it is right here. There's a resistor and there's a, an LED. See the arrows shine? That means it's illuminating light. That's the LED. Goes in pin one, comes out here, pin six. The switch is closed, current flows here, and no problem, goes to ground. Here are the other ones. Here are the other. See the, 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 the frosters? If you look at it, left and right, left and right, depending on the model that you have, without memory or with memory. So probably it'll remember... <clears throat> the condition or, or the the condition that you want when you get into the car so if you get into the car and you want that the frost is on for the mirrors it'll remember it if it doesn't have memory it won't remember you'll probably have to adjust it again so anyway so which line are we following well this line is just for lighting the led to tell you that that you activated it this line without memory is for left and right the foggers current goes here heats up the grids and obviously you get the mirrors defrosted the power mirrors this is with memory as you see these two and they are same thing going to ground a physical ground on the body so going to an orange wire here an orange wire coming out black wire black wire these are connectors going into pin four Coming out, pin three, same thing. Pin four, pin three, same thing here. Pin nine, pin eight, pin nine, pin eight. So left and right, left and right. Let's say it doesn't work. <clears throat> Let's say it doesn't work. Both don't work, right? What can possibly be the cause of both? Well, besides the fuse, this wire could be broken. The switch, obviously, number one, right? The switch is not activated. You won't get any current flowing over here. So I go for this switch. Can it be a short the ground? That if this is shorted, you're conducting more current, then you know what will happen? It will blow the fuse. So it's dependent on the fuse. If these two are not working, these, this orange wire from this point can be broken. So not too bad of a, uh, of a diagram. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please see my other videos that I made hands on. Um, like I said, it's a new technique that I have. Well, not actually new technique. It's a technique that I have. Sorry. Um, it's a new thing probably for the people to see about the hands on the troubleshooting. I put these wires in the terminals of the relays and I leave the relay in the circuit. <clears throat> you have to get used to that technique. It's a new technique probably not seen before um i can use it for a start relay motor to see if the start mo uh, 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 relay is activated going to the starter motor and i'll show you for the headlights <clears throat> and i'll go over and like i said because of the <clears throat> because of the noise of the engine it has to be on voltage measurements and signal waveforms have to be done with the car on so I explained to people, this is the dangerous part of it. When you do electronics in automotive, the car has to be on. You just can't take a connector and measure 12 volts all the time and put it in an accessories position, whatever. That's not accurate to me. You ha it has to be in the run position or the start position to get a signal waveform. And hopefully I'll show you the scope that I have. You'll see the mass airflow sensor with a signal waveform. Yes, I just showed you the frequency. The best thing is to use a, a, um, a, a scope that I have. And so please go to those um, um, hands-on. Hopefully I'll do more. And uh, please go to my channel, Joe Electronic Schematic for Auto. 
Um, I'm trying to organize it more. I think it's more organized now. Um, so hopefully the views will come. Pretty good, good last night. Thanks for watching then.